Are you having a gathering for New Year's Eve? I have the perfect festive appetizer to serve to your guests. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we gather together every week in the kitchen. We create delicious and healthy recipes to serve to those that you love. Today, we're going to be making a festive cranberry pear cheese dip. Let's begin by adding eight ounces of softened organic cream cheese to your food processor. Mine is a softer consistency because I'm using a lactose-free version. Next, we have four ounces of softened organic goat cheese. I'm using a garlic and herb flavored, but plain works great too. For just a little bit of spice, one eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one peeled and chopped up pear. This next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our clean sourced collagens powder for a nutritional boost. Pulse a few times and then let your processor run to combine all of your ingredients. Next, add in one cup of organic grated cheddar cheese. I love to use cheese that's made from grass-fed cows. And one eighth to one quarter of a cup of chopped dried cranberries. Pulse just a few times to incorporate. Scrape the mixture into a bowl and then cover and place in the refrigerator for 24 hours to harden and bring the flavors together. Now for the finishing touches. Spread out one half of a cup of roasted and finely chopped up pecans onto a wax or parchment paper. Next, take your hardened cheese mixture and scrape it together using a spatula. Place the cheese mixture on top of your chopped up pecans and then using the sides of the parchment paper, pull them up to help coat the cheese mixture and then place into your favorite serving dish. It is taste test time, my favorite part. I wanted to let you know, if you want to turn this into a cheese ball, you'll want to do two things. Number one, make sure that you use a firm consistency for your cream cheese. A lot of those non-dairy uh, or vegan alternatives may have a softer consistency. Number two, don't process up your pear. You want to add it in very last when you're adding in the cranberries and the cheddar cheese, and then you just pulse the processor a few times, which will leave these amazing chunks of pear in your cheese ball. It will be delicious. So let's give her a taste. Look, it's got a really great consistency. Can you see that? It's soft, but then it also is holding its form pretty well. What a wonderful blend of flavors. It's nice and tangy. It is not really spicy. So if you like spice, add in a little bit more cayenne pepper. You also could chop up some scallions and add those in too. That would all be delicious. You can serve this up with your favorite vegetables or your favorite gluten-free crackers. This is delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, from our family to yours, happiest of New Year's. May this new year bring more joy, health, and love to you and those that you love most. I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.